you for that. A new sort of competition features our four-legged heroes in games of skill to benefit an organization ensuring everyone gets in the game. The first ever canine games are this Sunday. Shawnee County Sheriff Brian Hill is behind the idea. He is here today with Corporal Matt Bowling, who is one of our local canine officers, and Becca Henderson, who is a Special Olympics Kansas Hall of Famer and champion. National champion, right, Becca? Yes. All right, we'll get to you in a minute. But first, we've got to hear from the sheriff. Right. What is this idea? What were you wanting to do? Uh, well, we were constantly getting requests for the dogs, for demonstrations, and, uh, you know, the public is uh, just enthralled with the canines. And um, I know across the country, they do have canine competitions for police dogs. And we come up with the idea to have one here in Shawnee County, and who better than to partner with than our Special Olympic partners. So. so the dogs, are they actually going to compete in different various obstacles, skills? How's that going to unfold? Yes, uh, I believe there's going to be three events uh, and all the dogs are going to compete and we have guest judges that are going to judge them on their time and and how well they do and I think it'll be pretty interesting. Definitely. Yeah. Well, Becca, Special Olympics Kansas obviously means a lot to you, but right. what do the law enforcement officers mean as well? What kind of partnership does Special Olympics have with law enforcement? The law enforcement does a lot of things for us. They raise money, a lot of money, they, as I can. Um, they come to competitions, give out medals and ribbons, and they can come to state events as well and they be superheroes for us and being awesome people. How many events do you normally compete in? What kind of sports have you competed in? I've been doing, I'm in the middle of swimming and volleyball right now. They'll be getting ready to do snowshoeing soon. Um, basketball will be starting soon. And then all my others. I personally hope snowshoeing, snowshoeing does not start too soon because I don't need any snow yet, Becca. I'm just right, saying. Right, right. <laughs> How fun are you, is it going to be for you to see the canines taking center oh, stage I'm in the so competition? Excited. I have two dogs at home and I'm just looking forward to seeing the canines doing their thing. And like, the canines do do their thing every day, Corporal Bowling. Who is your, your dog who did not attend today? And we're all very disappointed for that. <laughs> it's a uh, canine like a Laika is your dog, and Correct. what kind of activities will you be competing in on Sunday? So the three events, one will, uh, will kind of showcase the dog's speed. Um, the next one will, uh, will show people kind of how they hunt for suspects. Um, and then the last one, uh, you know, we teach our dogs to jump over items if we send them to apprehend somebody. So we'll have kind of a setup to show uh, the abilities of our dog in that aspect as well. How much does this mimic any of the actual day-to-day -day training you all do? Uh, very much so. So this, the, the three things that we're doing are incorporated in our training almost daily. So How seriously and competitively are you taking this competition? Uh, I think it'll be fun more than competitive. <laughs> Anytime you get to work with dogs, it's fun. Sure. So. Yeah, it is, absolutely. Is, is this just, just going to be your canines, or who's all taking part in the competition? So it'll be all of our dogs. Our entire unit will be there. Uh, Jackson County is going to come down with two of their dogs, and the Highway Patrol will be there with one of theirs as well. So it's going to be quite the competition. Yeah. What else is going to unfold throughout the day if folks want to come out? Well, uh, we're going to have our posse in the parking lot. So the horses be, will be there along with the, the dogs. The horses will be there, so it will be a dog and pony show. So it will, we'll, we'll, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> you said it, not me. Helping Hands is going to be there as well. Helping Hands. We're going to have yeah. even more puppies and kitties around. Yeah. <laughs> and this is, there's no admission. It's just a day of fun. Yes. But you are yes. making a request. We are. We are taking donations at the gate uh, for Special Olympics. But, uh, yeah, we just want the community to come out and come together and uh, let's have a good time and watch our animals work. How important are the canines to the work that you're able to do? What oh. do they allow you to do that maybe you couldn't do otherwise? Well, they're extremely important. I mean, they're there for the officer's safety uh, and the capability of these dogs, uh, helping us apprehend fugitives, running trails, article searches. Uh, you know, they're, honestly, they use those dogs daily on the street. How many, how long have you and, is it, what, what is the, Laika. Laika. How long have you and Laika been partners? Uh, for about three years. For about three years. How successful have you been in your partnership? Very, very. She's very good at what she does. All of our dogs are very good, and we'll kind of showcase all of that on Sunday. Is she cross-trained, or does she do one task in particular? So she just does drugs. She hunts for drugs, and then she does the patrol side, too. So she does the tracking, the apprehensions, the, the trailing, the uh, evidence searching, all of that stuff. Okay. I, I'm excited because I get to MC on Sunday. <gasps> are you going to help me? 
if you want it. Okay, <laughs> Becca's going to help me MC. The K-9 games are coming up <laughs> at 1 o'clock Sunday at Hummer Sports Park in Topeka. Again, no formal admission, but please do come and make a donation to benefit Special Olympics Kansas. But the gates open at noon. Gates open at noon, so you can be there and maybe see some of the some little extra puppy love. Right. All right, I get it. <laughs> Sheriff, Becca, Purple Bowling, thank you all so much for being here. One.